CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is once again making headlines for their recent discoveries that could potentially change everything we know about the universe. But before we get to that, let's delve deeper into what makes CERN one of the most fascinating places on Earth. CERN, or the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is an intergovernmental organization consisting of 23 member states that is responsible for operating the largest particle physics laboratory in the world. The facility is based in a northwestern suburb of Geneva on the France-Switzerland border. CERN is home to half of the world's particle scientists and is currently operating the world's largest and highest energy particle collider, the Large Hadron Collider LHC. More about this later on in the video. CERN also found the Higgs boson particle which is alternatively known as the God Particle. This particle was discovered in 2012 when the researchers at CERN discovered that an elusive particle exists that is responsible for giving all particles their mass. In simple words, Higgs boson is responsible for the existence of anything and everything we see in the universe. Moreover, the particle physicists at CERN make antimatter to study in experiments using the antiproton decelerator. Just as the name suggests, it slows down the antiprotons so that physicists can investigate their properties. Last but not the least, in 1989, a CERN scientist named Tim Berners-Lee laid the bricks of the internet by creating the World Wide Web WWW. He originally developed it to meet the demands for an automated information sharing between scientists and universities and institutes around the world. Now, let's get back to the Large Hadron Collider. If you've seen The Flash, then you might know that Flash got his super speed by getting struck by a lightning storm of dark matter caused by a particle accelerator. Even though this particle accelerator and LHC have the same task, accelerating particles at high speed and then colliding them, they're two very different machines. The LHC is a real-world scientific instrument that operates on the principles of particle physics, while the Flash's particle accelerator is a fictional device that operates on the principles of comic book superhero fiction. The Large Hadron Collider LHC is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. The creation of the LHC didn't happen in a year or two. Instead, it took the scientists a total of two decades to create the Large Hadron Collider. Over 10,000 scientists, hundreds of institutes and 100 countries came together in this revolutionary project. It is said to be one of the most expensive science equipment in the world as it costs over 7.5 billion euros. The Large Hadron Collider lies inside a 27-kilometer tunnel in the shape of a ring that consists of superconducting magnets with a number of accelerating structures to boost their energy of the particles along the way. Two beams of particles, especially protons, are fired along the two paths. One particle goes clockwise and the other counterclockwise. These beams are accelerated to a speed closer to the speed of light and then when they reach their max speed, the particles are targeted towards each other to collide. When these two particles collide inside the LHC, they break apart into even smaller particles. These smaller particles include quarks and gluons. Quarks are sub-atomic particles that are very unstable and can decay in a fraction of a second, whereas gluon is the mitigating force. This entire collision is detected by the detectors inside the collider that collect and send the data to a grid of computer systems. The first ever collision inside the Hadron Collider was achieved in 2010, two years after the development of the collider. The particles collided at a combined energy of 7 tera electron volts, which was almost four times higher than the previous record. Further upgrades were made to the collider and it is now capable of producing a combined energy of 13 tera electron volts. Several upgrades were done back and forth to the Collider until 2018, when it was shut down for over two years. The Collider was restarted in 2021 after certain upgrades and maintenance, and this time with a maximum beam energy of 6.8 tera electron volts per beam. This round is said to last until 2025. 
Over the years, the Large Hadron Collider has managed to reveal some big mysteries like the Higgs boson particle we've talked about earlier. Before the 2012 collision, the Higgs boson particle and field was just a theory as even after numerous experiments, the researchers couldn't discover it. After several upgrades to the LHC, Higgs boson was finally discovered. In July 2022, there was a shocking discovery in the Large Hadron Collider project. On 7th of July, a mysterious crack appeared inside the magnetic field of the Earth. This mysterious crack didn't appear out of nowhere and vanished within a few minutes. It remained open for a good 14 hours. The crack in Earth's magnetic field allowed solar winds to stream through the openings, which caused strong geomagnetic storms and a mesmerizing sight to behold. But how did that crack appear out of nowhere? According to the researchers, this happened because of a unique phenomenon called corrotating interaction region from the Sun. These are large-scale plasma structures that are generated in the lower middle latitude regions due to the interaction of fast solar wind streams and surrounding slow solar wind. Apart from this, the collider has discovered three new exotic particles from the collision on the 5th of July 2022. These exotic particles are a new kind of petroquark and the first pair of tetraquarks that include a new tetraquark. As of now, LHC has managed to discover a total of 70 new hadrons. Ever since CERN launched the first stage of the Large Hadron Collider project, many people have speculated that the organization is trying to open portals to the black or even in another dimension. Some even went to claim that CERN is opening a gateway for demons to enter our universe. However, all these claims and myths are truly baseless and just a myth. In his statement, physics professor at University of Buffalo explains how the collider or any technology of this age cannot access the black hole due to certain limitations. Many also believe that the Large Hadron Collider could open a portal to a parallel dimension from where the humans cannot return. Some even believe that we're now living in a parallel dimension ever since the Hadron Collider was restarted in 2022. A lot of these concerns were proposed by Max Laughlin, a teenage boy with deep knowledge about quantum and particle physics. According to him, we had an original timeline, but immediately the anomaly occurred during the experiment. We were infinitely catapulted into an infinite number of parallel universes. These safety concerns and the possibility of opening a black hole led to a protest against CERN where a group of people started calling out to shut down LHC. However, the researchers at CERN have continued their study and are positive with the safety of their work. Several professors and researchers also came forward to address this and express their confidence over the Large Hadron Collider. The main goal behind this recent run of the particle accelerator is to find out about a mysterious fifth force of nature that the researchers believe exists. This mysterious fifth force, if found, can completely change the dynamics of particle physics. Researchers are also looking to gain more information about the dark matter particles and ghost particles, aka neutrinos. Neutrinos are similar to electron particles, but instead, they have no charge and are produced in the heart of stars. In the near future, CERN is looking to upgrade the Hadron Collider by improving the collision energy, luminosity, and improved detectors. The luminosity upgrade began in 2018 and is supposed to be completed in 2027, after which the particle collider would help in better visualizing rare processes. The current run would end in 2025, and after a potentially long break, CERN would activate the LHC for a potential fourth run in 2029 with a collision rate 10 times higher than the current one. The fourth run would last till 2042, gathering a massive data set 10 times greater than that of the third one. Scientists will be looking to find answers to questions like, what is the nature of the Higgs boson? Are there new particles beyond the standard model? What is the nature of dark matter? Can we uncover the mysteries of antimatter? What is the quark-gluon plasma? The answer to these questions could revolutionize how we live in the future. The discoveries made by CERN are not only fascinating but also essential for our understanding of the universe. With this latest discovery, we can only imagine what new knowledge and discovery the future holds. 
It's a reminder that science never stops evolving and that there is always something new to learn.